Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Medium Kim. Thank you for joining me on this video. We're talking about soul path and uh, how, what, what does it mean to have a successful life? Uh, so we're going to take a little mind journey and see what it would be for you. Of course, everybody's life, what they feel is success is individual. And certainly, I can't tell you how what success would be for you, but maybe you can go into a place in your imagination and put yourself at the end of life and see, looking back, what would make a successful life? And did you find your sole purpose? Also, hey, today is April 20, no, 30th. Tomorrow's May 1, the day where we can offer flowers. Um, I know in some traditions around the world, the children would make little flower baskets, hang them uh, with flowers inside and put them on their neighbors. Isn't that a lovely tradition in that? that wouldn't that be just so fun to do that um, for your neighbors or somebody you love? So maybe think about that. When I see flowers, I often think that flowers are the face of God and, um, you know, and this renewal of time. And we need, we need a rejuvenation. We need to see the light in the dark because there's um, a lot we need to see through when we need to bring the light. And that's what I want to say about our sole purpose. It may be as simple as holding light. It may be as simple as smiling at your neighbors, maybe opening the door for somebody at the grocery store or something like that, or carrying their, their groceries. It may not be that you're going to be the president of the United States. It may not be that. It may be very simple, but I can almost guarantee that anybody watching this video, a sole purpose would be holding the light. Because the more light holders that we have, the more light there is. And we all need light. Every one of the humanity, everyone in the tree world, on the, the plant world, the, the bird world, all of us need light. And we are, as you know, I know we know this, we are one, one collective group coming together to bring light to the dark. And this is a very intense time. So if you're wondering why you're here, please accept that you are here to hold light. And that may be all that is needed. Okay. And that is good enough. I remember reading Neil Donald Walsh and Conversations with God gosh, many years ago, I want to say uh, 1990s, maybe. Um, and I remember that was life changing for me, reading his books. And one of the things he always said was, just being born is enough for our human development, coming down to earth, being born, no matter if we live for a day, an hour, or a hundred years, that is enough in itself of our, um, like our soul, our soul purpose. Okay. So, um, because it's hard here. All right. So now if you don't mind, I'm wondering, I want to pose a question. What makes a successful life? Um, I, you know, in being a nurse at the bedside for people in transition, I can tell you that um, one of the things I see very common is people that are dying, the regrets are if they haven't resolved a relationship um, or healed a relationship. Let's just say they have an estranged granddaughter or an estranged um, mom or dad or, or a, a business associate that things went down bad and they never recovered. They never forgave. They never brought their relationship back together. Those sorts of things are what bother people, keep them here longer 
is when they haven't healed those things. And so healing, um, I believe, the more he healing we can do on this side of the veil, the easier it will be, one, to transition, and two, once we've transitioned, we can ascend uh, higher because if we've already done a lot of work here around healing in whatever capacity that may be, whether it's forgiving yourself or others, which is often what it is, right? Um, or, rec or reconciling, even if the other person doesn't reconcile with you, but you reconcile in your own heart, then that can, that can propel you on forward to continue to expand your uh, spiritual growth and awareness. And at least you've done your part, whether or not the other person has. So that's really significant. So I see that. I've never seen anybody say, I wish I would have worked more hours. <laughs> I wish I would have worked harder at my job. Um, now, some people will relive their work at the end of life. I can see, um, especially if they go into a little bit of a trance between the worlds, you can see they're doing their job still. So they kind of still relive it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they want to do, uh, you know, they would have liked to have worked more. Um, so I want to just, let's just uh, take a moment just for fun, just for fun. We're going to take a moment together I'm going to guide you to a very short mind journey to the end of your life. And that maybe you will have, when we, done, when we are finished, a little insight about what you might need to do now to feel like your life is you're living on your soul path and that you are healing in, in every way that you possibly can. So let's just go on, if you don't mind with me. Um, just sitting, relax for a moment here, and I'm going to take you on a mind journey, and we're going to we're going to offer up um, the, our imagination. Just going to flow with it. Don't question, okay? Just just go with the flow here. We're gonna. I'm going to invite you to just go forward in time. Although we know past, present, future is all the same, but we're still going to on this linear timeline. We're going to take a deep breath and. And exhale now, we're going to exhale the present, right? Going to, and let go of the past. Inhale and exhale the present. Inhale and exhale the past. And we're going to inhale and shoot yourself forward on the timeline, however many years that you want it to be. Maybe it's 50, maybe it's two, maybe it's 20. It doesn't really matter. Just go forward and see yourself. At the end of your life, the phase of life where you can finally recline in bed and you're very comfortable, it's very comfortable, and you have the privilege of getting to say goodbye to your loved ones. So you're in your very comfortable bed. All your physical needs are met. Your pain is under control if there is any, just in relaxation and processing. So put yourself there. And around you, surrounding you are your loved ones, maybe your children. Maybe you see tears, maybe it's your friends or maybe it's nobody. Maybe you would prefer nobody as you process your life. But know that you're being held by your angels and by your loved ones on this side, whether at the physical or just at the heart level. And as you go into this space and time, think back, what is it that brought you joy in this life? And what did you share with others? Did you share love? And 
And what would you have done differently? Did you live your life purpose? And if you were to do something different, allow that insight to, to just show up in your mind. And now here you have an opportunity while you're in this phase of life to forgive. You can forgive now, you can forgive in the future. Is it allowing yourself time to forgive yourself and others? And bringing healing energy all around to you and your life. and giving much gratitude for the life you lived despite the imperfections. Much gratitude. And you know, in the, if you listen to this and you want to stop the video at certain points, so you can have more time with those questions. But know that you can come back and heal because you can go in the future, you can go in the past, you can stay in the present and heal as much as possible. And know <laughs> that you are, that being here, holding the light in love is enough. And if you have this idea that you missed something, Go into the heart space and heal that part of you, that journey of the thing you feel you could have done better or, or you missed out. And um, remember that we are our worst uh, judge, right? We're the most critical of ourselves. So I want to remind you again, we are light. We come from love. And all love is perfect, okay? Please take that love, surround yourself with the love, whatever color, if you wanna be pink, wear your pink robe of love, go forward in your life knowing your sole purpose is to show love, whatever way that is for you, A anything you do, if you do it in love, that is holding the light, that is an amazing life purpose. I leave that with you and I leave that with blessings and um, happy May 1. May you find joy in the little things, the flowers, the birds, the grass growing up and know life is precious. Every moment is precious. May you be well. Hold yourself as precious. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>